I'm going to explain what is the depreciation in accounting. So today's agenda is depreciation meaning why depreciation is important in accounting, methods of depreciation, which method is mostly used, depreciation journal entry, posting of journal into income and expenditure account and balance sheet and assignment for you. So what is the depreciation? Depreciation is the reduction in value of assets due to its use, wear and tear. So if we talk about the assets, all assets which, can, which we can see and touch means of tangible nature. And this decrease in value is known as depreciation and this is also known cash expenditure. So in accounting term, depreciation is defined as the reduction in the value of fixed assets until the value becomes zero or negligible so what are the fixed assets we have building furniture office equipment machinery but one thing that we keep in our mind the depreciation cannot be calculated on land so land is not depreciable assets so why depreciation is so important it is, it is important because in the depreciation that we recover the cost of the assets when it was purchased for example today we purchase an assets worth value one hundred thousand dollar and the life of the assets is 10 years so during the 10 year we want to recover the cost of the assets in 10 years so that's why we use depreciation second the greater depreciation expenses and definitely lower the taxable income on the profit and loss account debit side we put a depreciation as expenditure when the depreciation expenses will be more it means there will be low income if there will be low income it means low taxable low tax will be implied on that so lower taxable income means more tax saving because that you have to pay less tax on the remaining amount so there are different methods of depreciation one is the straight line method so what is the formula for this the value of the assets for example one hundred thousand dollar and minus the residual value what is the residual value the residual value is known as a salvage value or scrap value of the assets at the end of the 10 year for example this is the useful life of the assets if we recover some amount let's say uh, ten thousand dollar so that we will deduct first in this method so one hundred thousand dollar minus ten thousand dollar is equal to ninety thousand dollars so ninety thousand divided by useful life of the assets ten so nine thousand per year that will be deducted as depreciation so on the right hand side you can see in the straight line depreciation method three one two five this is one amount which is going to be depleted or deducted every year for the rest of the period or life of the assets second method we have is the unit of production method this method is used when we know that there is one machinery and there is a lifetime production capacity of the machinery right in that case we use this kind of methods so in this case exactly the same way that we did in the straight line method asset cost minus the residual value divided by lifetime production into units produced here the unit produced mean in the in the one year maybe in the first year how many units were produced that we will, we will be going to calculate here and multiply the amount that will be the depreciation amount for that particular year and next method is the double declining method double declining method can be calculated in this way so one divided by useful life of the assets into 100 right and multiply by 2 so in this case for example the useful life of the assets is 5 years so one divided by 5 into 100 that's a 20 percent the as name states is a double declining method so multiply by 2 is equal 40 percent every year on the book value of the assets the 40 percent depreciation will be calculated and the, on the remaining balance means that will become the closing balance of the year 
the closing balance of the year will become the opening balance for the next year and next on the next year closing balance again 40% will be calculated on the remaining balance and so on till the value become zero why use a double declining method this is also very important double declining method we use in some of the cases so in this case it records the larger depreciation expenses during the starting period during the earlier years of an asset's useful life and smaller ones in the later years as a result companies opt for the ddb like the double declining balance method for assets that are likely to lose more of their value or most of their value early on at the beginning or which will become obsolete more quickly so take an example of car at the very beginning the car value is big and during the uses and the lifetime of the assets then the value of the car is going down so take an example of a computer as well as electronic items so most of the companies they use double declining method for for this calculation So one of the example is here. I would like to explain all these three methods with this example. Let's say asset cost is eighty-five thousand, and residual value means scrap value of the assets is five thousand dollars. Useful life of the assets is five year. Lifetime production in units is also given. That is twenty thousand. Units produced in the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth year. At thirty-four, thirty-five hundred, four thousand, twenty-five hundred, seven thousand, and three thousand respectively. Now, so I'm just going to explain all these uh, methods in detail. So, calculate the depreciation for the five year using all three methods of depreciation. Now, starting with the first one, straight line method. So, asset value is eighty-five thousand dollar, as you can see, minus five thousand dollar. This is the residual value or scrap value divided by five. So, sixteen thousand dollars. That will be depreciation amount, and this depreciation amount will be applicable and used as expenses every year, and we put on the debit side of the profit and loss account. Second method is units of production method, as production units are also given in this in this example. Assets cost minus residual value divided by lifetime production into units produced in that particular year. For example, eighty-five thousand minus five thousand divided by twenty thousand units. This is the total capacity, and depreciation per unit will be four. In this particular year, in the current year, or you can say in the first year, thirty-five hundred units were produced. So depreciation amount will be fourteen thousand dollar for the first year. Double declining method. Double declining method says the one divided by the useful life of the assets into hundred. What is the remaining percentage comes? We will multiply by two. So that will be double declining method. Now look at this. All these three methods I have calculated for making you understand in the first year, second year, third year, and fourth year. The total of all these that will remain the same at the end of the period. Look at the first. state line method 16000 dollar for the first year and so on till the fifth year unit of productions method once the unit of productions are given in the question or we we can say those companies which have those kind of uh, manufacturing of the products that can be calculated very easily take an example of a laptop or maybe shoes or maybe some electronic gadgets so these units 3500 unit 4025 7000 3000 units were produced in total 5 years and the total lifetime of the assets so now we have calculated that what is uh, the unit of production in the depreciation or every year so per unit production will be multiply by total number of units For all the years, and total will be eighty thousand dollars. Double declining method is thirty-four thousand dollars. 
that is what that is the first year depreciation that we have calculated and 20400 12240 734444061610 that at the end note at the sixth year what will happen opening balance of that will be 6610 when assets would be sold in the first two method at the very beginning we will deduct the residual value that is the five thousand dollar but for the double declining method we are not going to decrease or deduct this amount so directly on the value on the book value of your assets we will be going to calculate the percentage like for example here the 40 percent the 40 percent of 85 thousand dollar that will be 34 thousand now i'm just going to explain the double declining method in detail look at this so in this case the book value at the beginning of the year is 85 thousand and depreciation that we have calculated 40 percent on the first year's book value that is thirty-four thousand dollars book value at the end of the period that will be fifty one thousand and definitely that will become the opening balance for the second year and we will calculate forty percent depreciation on fifty one thousand dollars and so on till that we sell that article for example at the end of the period we see that we have six six one zero this is the end of the period now if at the end of the period we have this much of amount so what we will do in the fifth year we will be calculating the depreciation 40 percent of uh, the opening balance here of the book value then the remaining amount from the remaining amount we will calculate the how much will be the depreciation in total so in this case we know that this is the time to sell of selling of the article selling of the big machine so once the machine is sold at five thousand dollars then remaining amount will be one six one zero again that will also be considered as the depreciation for that particular year now next we have what is the general entry for the depreciation so depreciation account debit to accumulated depreciation account eight thousand dollars how to record this journal entry in financial statement this is also very important let's have a look for example this is rj electronics incorporation preparing income statement for the year ended 31st of december 2020 we have two sides debit side and credit side of income and expenditure account on the left hand side we all we know that we all put all the expenditures and on the right hand side there should be all income that we have in our organization now look at this on the debit side we put the depreciation eight thousand dollar once we put up depreciation at the eight thousand which is showing here definitely that our income will be less so net profit will be reduced by eight thousand dollar and as we know the double entry system there will be the effect of one transaction will be on the another side as well if one is debit another one will be credit now so look at this rj electronics incorporation balance sheet so on the asset side you can see the fixed assets equipment that we bought is eighty thousand dollars the value of that equipment and less accumulated depreciation that we have eight thousand dollars so seventy two thousand dollars that will be the remaining amount so this will be the closing stock for closing value for 2020 and that will become the opening balance for the next year now the question arises: which depreciation method is the best so answer is straight line method this is mostly commonly used method for calculating depreciation so this is one assignment for you you can calculate the depreciation by using all three methods of depreciation 